As a doctor, I deal with mental illness, but I found that when people came through the door, some of them weren't mentally ill, they just didn't know how to manage their own minds. So the chimp paradox is a way of accessing the mind and the neuroscience, which is really heavy and complex, into a simple language, which is entertaining but quite serious, to say if you can learn this, then you can start to manage your thinking, your behaviours, and get the best out of yourself. If somebody was suffering with something like anxiety or whatever emotion that they're getting that they feel is not actually helpful, it's a bit destructive, is to understand why it's happening in the first place and what message is the mind trying to give them. So it's all about inside their own head and saying how do you want to respond to a situation and let's do that by operating with the mind effectively. There's so many overlaps between sport and business. When I work with elite golfers or I work with a snooker player or footballers, it's a different culture, a different setting. And business is the same. No businesses are identical. So you have to work within the culture of that business and get them in a good place so that they've got this robustness, resilience within their own head. So I'm asking people to acquire emotional skills. I don't tell people what to do. What I do is discuss and give insights and ask them to work with me to find what works for them and what's productive for the outcomes they want. The model I've introduced is one of accountability, um, but it's also compassionate enough to say that all of us struggle with our minds. They're not built to always be on our side. So I'm trying to give people insights so they can actually get the mind on side and then you don't have these problems at work.